I think this is maybe one of the coolest 3D printer I ever received for this channel. It's maybe the fastest one that I ever had. Also the most ready to print out of the box because it's pretty much already assembled when you get it. And it also has some very cool features, which we will see in a moment. So as always, we'll make some prints, we'll assemble the printer, and also I'll give you my final opinion and see all the features that this printer has. In that way, you'll make a general idea in order to know if you want to buy it or not. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. So as always, we'll make first an unbox while I'm telling you the main features and specs of this printer. Then we will assemble it and also go in more depth about the features that this printer has. Then we'll make some print tests and give you my final opinion as always. So let's get started with the unbox. So this is how you receive it. Everything is well secured in place. So during shipping, you won't have any damage. As you can see, we have this protection foam and also these uh, very strong cardboard corners in order to add some more strength to the box. So let me just take everything that we have inside here outside and then I will show you one by one what we, what we have, assemble it and test it out. So I've took some of the parts out and by the look of it, we have only two parts for the main printer. We have the, the Z axis and then we'll probably have the Y axis and this will be the uh, X axis. We wash them together and we can test it out. And this looks awesome. I can see a camera here. The extruder is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Everything is well made with the cables. So how cool is this? This is what I was talking about. This is maybe one of the most ready to print out of the box because all we have to do is to take this part here, place it on top of these holes here, add the, the screws, and that's it. It will be assembled. Probably in like two minutes, I can have it ready to go. Oh, and by the way, you have to plug the wires, which as you can see, they use some sort of USB wires. So it will be very easy to plug. I mean, the unbox will be very fast. You get two cables. This is for Europe and this is for UK. I guess this will be the spool holder. You get a pretty awesome toolbox. I think you have everything that you need to assemble it. You have the quick starting guide, testing filament if you want to make some tests and also the assembling screws and the two parts, which look very good. So I was going over the installation guide, which are pretty much only two steps. So they recommended to use this receipt foam in order to support the z-axis, place it on, their, on its back and then you would be, it would be very easy to add the, the platform because this is quite heavy because it's made out of extruded metal so it's very strong but also very heavy so let's just do that this is quite heavy, I can lift it off the table with one hand because this is very thick metal as you can see so that's pretty much what I did. All we have to do is to pass these wires through the holes and I think this would open like this. So we can just pass these wires through the holes. That's one, and then the other one. Okay, so now this will be the final screw and the frame is assembled in just, I mean, one minute. And now we have to plug this like that. These are USB cable, I think. We have the right and left label for each cable. So this will go up here. I flip the printer so you can see it better. Connect this one here and this one here. This is why I'm saying that this is a cool design because it took me only like one minute to assemble it and they also thought about the cable management. As you can see we have these clips here for the cables so they will stay in place uh, very well organized. And also I've added the screws so the connectors will stay in place and everything is ready to go. So just like that the printer is on and really in just like maybe three minutes I spent a little bit more because I was recording the assembly, but maybe you will get it in three minutes. And I started on, and the first thing that it will do, it will calibrate the temperature and also make an auto leveling. Oh, there you have it. It's doing the auto level. I'm not sure what kind of sensor it's using, but I think it's using the force, the force that the step motors are making in order to detect the pressure. So the first thing was to install the AnchorMaker app on my smartphone. And then we connect to the printer and to the Wi-Fi and now we can control the printer from the smartphone if you want. So I've selected the preheat option and then I can add some filament and make some tests. So from the app, I go to the explore tab and select a random object to test it out and press print. And literally in just under 10 minutes I was able to print something with this machine. And I was amazed how fast this was printing. So while the machine is doing its job, let's talk about some specs and features. 
First of all, I'm a fan of the design and how easy it is to start using it. It's almost ready out of the box. It has a metal body and also very rigid, so the printer is more than stable. It's easy to assemble in just a few minutes. And then, well, the design is very well done. All the cables are very well routed, so there are no loose cables and everything is just tight and compact. The screen is also quite big and very responsive. And on the side of the screen we have a full HD camera, which we could control from the app and take screenshots, record a video or a time lapse, or just check if the printer is going well when you are not near the printer. And this camera also has an AI that you could activate from the app, which basically detects if the print went wrong or something else happened. When you slice the file, it also creates an AI file and it will compare the camera results with the AI file and stop the print if the layer is not good, if there is no filament getting out, if the print moved and so on. And it can also send you a notification when something happens. And the speed is amazing. It could go up to 500 millimeters per second. And I've printed a Banshee for example in just 17 minutes and that's quite fast. I mean this is real time printing a Banshee and look how fast it moves. So in a moment I will go over the quality results as well. It has auto leveling with 49 points and the height is automatically adjusted into the code and that is very useful. At the same time it also has a printing resume function where basically it resumes the print if the printer is shut down by accident or something else. And they've implemented something they called power boost, where the printer is using a double and powerful stepper motor and a double belt shaft with a smoothing movement algorithm. The extruder is advertised to be 3.1 times faster and is using a direct extruder. It looks like a Bowden extruder but is not. The motor is actually here and moving with the axis and it has a direct drive. So we can print different types of materials such as ABS or nylon. And the nozzle by default is of 0.4 mm. It could go up to 260 degrees and the bed could also reach 100 degrees. And for cooling it has two air outputs with two fans, one on each side of the nozzle output. And the printer also has the status LED that lets you know where the printer is doing, if it's heating up, homing or printing something and so on. And the printing volume is of 235 by 235 for the X and Y and 250 mm height. I also like the magnetic printing bed. It is very easy to remove and also flexible, so it's easier to remove the prints just by flexing the bed. And then it will get snapped in place. To activate the time lapses, just go here into the app and toggle the time lapse button. And then the app will automatically process the pictures into the cloud and give you a time lapse video. So, in my opinion, the best part of this machine is the design. It's made to be ready to print and is very elegant. I mean, it could be a personal opinion, but all the parts are well engineered. All the wires are well routed. The design of the screen, the camera, the moving axis is very well made and with very high quality. The filament input is also very well placed and also has a filament detector inside. And the camera also has an LED which you could turn on or off. It uses dual lead screw for the Z axis and dual stepper motor for the Y axis as well. And now I'll be honest and I have to say that the cooling fans are a bit loud. If it wasn't for the fans the machine would be silent. You can hear a thing when the axes are moving. But because of the cooling fans, it makes a bit of noise, so I will check that out and maybe improve the fans. Now let's check some parts that I've printed. The printer comes with its own slicer if you want, so you could download it from their website. It already has all the settings for the machine, so you don't have to do anything. Just connect to the printer, import a file, slice it and then send it to the printer without any cable or USB drive. 
and you can also check the camera from the Windows software. These are just a few parts that I printed just to test it out, and the machine also made a time lapse for us automatically. This, for example, was printed at 200 mm per second with marble PLA. And it turned out pretty good for that speed. And then I've also made this dragon that was printed with red PLA at a standard speed of 250 mm per second, which is already quite fast. It also turned out good, so the print results just out of the box are quite well. The Banshee was printed at 500 mm per second in just 17 minutes using wood PLA. And the results are better than expected considering that this was printed at 500 mm per second. And this here was the first print just to test it out, out of the Explore tab of the app, and this was printed at 250 mm per second after just 15 minutes of opening the box. So guys, I guess the key features of this printer are the high speed and ready to use. It was able to make very good prints and also very fast and ready in just a few minutes. I really like it and the only thing that I would change is the fan sound. But for low cost printer, this is a very good product. You have the links below, so check it out for more information on their Discord or website. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it, and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below, uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel, so thank you very much once again.